bearing hot pot and the juice of joy. You know, if we're having the afternoon off, might as well go all in. <gasps> you all right, Debs? I'm sorry. Why? What's happened? Me, I guess. Brilliant! So you've got another monkey to join your circus of crazy to get at me? No, there's no need for insults. Why? You bring out the best ones in me. And you should know better. Sarah's suffering enough already. Right, OK, and what's that got to do with you chucking me underneath the faith bus? Because when she gets home, it needs to be good. She can't cope with you two at each other every time we're in the same room together. Right, well, we'll just avoid being in the same room, then. Which will be a damn sight easier if you just returned home to hell. You cheeky cow! After everything I've done for my family, and yes, that's right, they are my family too. You see, this... This is what I mean. Charles, you can't let her come home to this. Well, let's get it over with, then. I'm here, I'm listening. Let's get on with it. Well, it's not really me that needs to talk, Chas. No? No. See, I've said I'm sorry for everything, but this is your chance. Your chance to get all your pain off that perky chest of yours. Me? Yes, love. All that built-up blackness, the anger and blame, just let me have it. Let me have it and then just get it out. So when it's out, it's out. That'll be the end of it. Yes. If you can't talk about it, you can't deal with it, and you really need to deal with it. Right, so now you're a psychologist, as well as a psychic. And let's not forget a psycho. Yes, Chazzy, just let it out. Oi, right, Judas. Call your heels. This is all about you, after all. Oh, well, I'm just in the way. Well, this is about you two. But thanks for doing it, OK? Come on. Get some of this down your neck and just let it out. You said you'd give it a chance. Yeah. And you said you were sorry. You didn't mean that either. You just manipulated Debbie. You set her up to help poor little pathetic you. You pulled a classic faith. No. No, 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 no. You said I was to let it all out. Well, I'm not even warmed up yet. Cheat. Oh, and lazy. Boy, are you lazy. Sound awful. Yes, you are. Stop interrupting, you're ruining my train of thought. <laughs> Cowardly. Manipulative liar. Yeah, everybody lies. Yes, you are right. Compulsive liar. Destructive. Yeah, that's vindictive. enough. Vindictive. I mean, how vindictive do you have to be to call social services to take away your own grandkid from the people that he loves? No, no. I only told them the truth about Kerry being a useless parent, and it worked. Cain finally became interested in being a dad, didn't he? And he's a good one. What would you know about proper parenting? Oh, here we go. I am not sticking around just to be attacked. Whoa, 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 no, you wanted this. Runner, quitter. I know exactly what I am. The same as you. No way. We both left our kids. I didn't leave Aaron because things got bad. I left him because I thought he deserved better than me. Me too! Stop with the lies! You knew we were trapped with a violent drunk and we had nowhere to hide. You knew that we needed you, but you still left us. I thought that Aaron deserved better than me. I didn't know. How could you, though? Because if I'd have seen what a proper parent was, then I would have known that I could do it. I would have known that I was better than you. I would have taken him with me. I wouldn't have left him there with that. You made me leave him with Gordon. You!